Today we got the man Grant Cardone. That sounds real Italian. I'm who kid. Who are you? Look, I'm I'm I got a bunch of businesses that I started from scratch, and uh, never really had anybody to promote me or believe in me. So I had to kind of grind this thing out by myself and mm. raised by a single mom, and just and brothers and sisters. Yeah, I had a I have a twin brother, older brother that died when he was 25. I was 20. Lost him really early. Lost my dad when I was 10. A lot of losses early on. And Made you strong, though. Huh? Makes you strong. Those it, losses. You're probably right, man. But shit, I don't, I don't, I don't wish that on anybody, man. And it won't happen to anybody. You know, what I mean, it only happens to the people that have vision. Yeah. That inspires your vision to make them proud of you and all that shit. Yeah, I know, man. You don't think about that. They would be proud of your dad. Oh, dude, my dad would oh, be. Yeah. My dad right now would be tripping. Mm. The life that I've created, because he was just trying to he he was the son of a, a Italian immigrants. They, they they came over here. They were shipbuilders. They landed in New Orleans. A lot of Italians came in through New Orleans. My mom's side, her dad was born on the on the boat. Never had papers to live in the United States. He was an illegal immigrant his whole life. So everything he did was behind the scenes. So I very much relate to people in the struggle because my grandfather. His whole life was like, he either had a big wad on him or he's broke. Mm. Yeah, totally. And then my dad was the conservative side, trying to trying to break into the middle class. We had one car paid for, the house was paid for. He did everything right, and then his heart blew up at, at 52 years old. And five kids, mm. and I'm sitting there, man, I wanted a dad, man. I needed a dad to teach me. I grew up in Louisiana, so I needed... I needed to learn how to fish and hunt. All my other kids, they're, they're learning how to do this shit. So I felt like I was nobody. And then the, 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 the guy earning the money in the household, he's done. There's no more money coming in. So my dad thought, this really defined me, because my dad thought he had done everything right. But the truth is, the day he died, Thursday he died, my mom was selling the house on Monday. Four days later, she's dumping stuff. Mm. Doesn't know where money's going to come from. He's got five kids to, to take care of. Um, and, and, and so I'm watching. How much did you get for the house? The house well, she, she sold that house and went and bought another house. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's the, that's the dumb shit about houses. I mean, they're really liabilities. You know, they're, not, they're not assets. I don't want to buy any more homes. Cars. Uh, cars. The car I drove up in, man. I'm like, I don't need this car. This is ridiculous. The shoes, man. The shoes. Like... So anyway, I was watching my mom just struggle. When my mom should have been in grief, she was in fear. And I was like, I'm going to grow up. I literally, at 10 years old, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create so much wealth for myself. I am never going to experience this. I'm going to take care of my mom. I'm going to take care of the people around me. i got to learn about finance. And for the next 10 to till the age of 15, I just kind of drifted and couldn't do anything because you're so young. Uh, you were probably already fighting, man. You were probably already learning. And what, what age? Ten? No, at ten I was in the streets. We see, yeah, but you were learning. They wouldn't let me out in the streets. I was, I was nurtured. I was kept in. I think I would have been better out, better off yeah. going out there. I'm, listen, I'm so, uh, I'm not happy that my mother died. Yeah, but if she was a. Uh, my mother's still around. I'd be a different person, not a successful one. As I, as I am not, now, not as I am now, probably. Cause she would baby me all the time. Uh huh. Not let me get beat up and all that. Yeah. Bullshit. See, I think if my dad would have been alive, I wouldn't be who I am today. Yeah. Wow, you think the same way, yeah. I would not be. Yeah. I thought I was cold. <laughs> I thought I was cold. No, yeah. I, would, I would have been in his my mother would have, Yeah, my mother would have hurt us bad. Broke my spirit. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, when I was 15 years old, uh, I was looking for, I kept thinking my uncles, you know, I kept wishing my dad to come back. I, I wanted a strong man in my life. And I had three uncles. I kept thinking that they were going to come help. They didn't. And then Danny, the drug dealer, uh, at 15, said, hey, I'll, oh, be wow. your I'll be your daddy. Damn. And I'm like, let's go, man. He started showing me the drug thing. And next thing, literally within 12 months, I was using drugs every day. Went from being a good kid to I was using every drug available. In, in 12 months. You were hustling and using it or you were just like... <laughs> trying to no, ease that was, pain. I mean, oh, like every pain. drug, every drug addict's gonna, gonna, gonna move oh. something, you know? Yeah. You know, because, yeah, you know, but, but, uh, but for the next 10 years, 
every day for the next 10 years. I was yeah. I went from being a good middle class kid to good grades, good kid. People liked me to being beat up every weekend. Uh, 27 or uh, 27 stitches in my face, 50 in my head. Hey, well, what's the cause of this? Drugs. Oh, I think you're getting fights you know, and shit. I don't think you remember. You remember where that came from? Like all those injuries and drugs, man. Drugs. You know? Now and then they kill you too. Yeah. Well, I had three friends that, that got killed. Yeah. I went to treatment when I was 25. Mm. By the time I got out of treatment, two of my buddies had been killed while I was gone. Had I not gone, I'd, I'd be dead today. I think the same with me going to prison. All my friends died. When you were in prison? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a gift. Yeah. Maybe. No, no, I agree. So anyway, that's where, that's where I came from today. I mean, you know, I cleaned up my life when I was 25. I went to a treatment center, got off the drugs. Uh, How many rock bottoms is that? You've been through a few. Is that the lowest? No, it was more lows. I could have gone, gone lower than that. Oh, yeah. yeah anybody, anybody's told you got to hit rock bottom. You guys don't even, most people don't know what rock bottom mm -mm. is. There's so many levels to rock bottom. Rock bottom is a lot of shame. Yeah. Shame. Yeah, a lot of shame. Totally. It's not just the stitches in the face, man. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, no. it's the insides, man. Like, I would look at myself in the mirror and just be, like, so disgusted with myself. Mm. You know, knowing I could do better. I mean, this is the whole story. My whole life has been just disappointment. Still today, I look in the mirror, I'm like, God damn it, you can do more, man. Still today. Yeah. Like I've done, and I've done so much great shit. Um, yeah. Like, but, but I'm still today. I'm like, you know, I get around a guy like you. I've seen you, I've seen you change so many times, man, become so many different, better versions of yourself. It's unbelievable. And when I see a guy like you, you know, and I know everybody sits here, tells you the same shit. Not, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. But, sometimes. <laughs> but, but it's like, you should be, you should be given these flowers over and over because it's like, you are such a good example of possibility and potential. And that's what inspires me. I see all these guys that are doing unbelievable things. Like, I'm like, why am I not doing that? Mm. You know? What's this, what's this concept thing you got where you have your last hundred, but you get rid of it? Like, yeah, you're a fake billionaire dude, right? Like, that's what you're talking about? No, but he's, he said he, he's, he went to his last hundred, and he still, like, he wants to be at zero. Like, yeah. What's, I, what's that about? So, so I did this show with uh, Discovery Channel. They yeah. said, hey, we give you $100. You don't have a place to live, nothing to eat, no food. We're going to drop you off in a town you've never been to. Uh, we're going to give you an old truck. You cannot use your name. Oh, shit. How, how long would it take you to make a million dollars? I said, I don't know, maybe. How long you want to give me? She's like, 90 days. I said, I don't need 90 days. <laughs> oh, shit. I said, I don't need 90 days for sure. I said, I maybe 30, 45 days, maybe 60. <laughs> I said, but I wouldn't go for a million. I'll go for 10 million. And I don't need your hundred. And she's like, what? I said, I don't need your hundred dollars. Fucking hundred dollars is nothing. Anyway, I don't have any money on me right now. <laughs> got nothing. Got How much you got on you, man? Nothing. I got nothing, bro. Got I, got, I got a pair of AirPods. <laughs> okay. And, and, I, and, and this pocket. Oh, you didn't leave, not nothing, you didn't leave anything in the car? There's nothing in the car. <laughs> There's a Glock in the car. Oh. There's a Glock in the car. I'm a loser. How much I'm you pay for the bullet? This is me being a loser. Look how much money I got in my. I just, I just went to Starbucks. Look. Yeah. But That's hundred dollars. Ooh, see, I can have fun with that. See, look at this. I can have fun with that. See you see? See, there you go. Now, he can't get that from me. I can Am get I an idiot you know? for having like a couple grand in my pocket to go uh, to Starbucks? I'm just saying, like, if you didn't have it and you needed something, you'd figure out how to get it without paying for it. Mm. Mm. So I get dropped off. This is a true story. So I go to Discovery. They said, hey, we want you to do this show called Undercover Billionaire. You're supposedly this guy could do anything. How long would it take you? I said, dude, I'm telling you, I don't need any money. I said, I'll bet you guys a million dollars that I can pull this off. And I brought a bag, million dollars of cash, dropped it off on the table. You guys keep the money if I don't do it. <laughs> oh, shit. So that I'm officially broke <laughs> wow. as fast as possible. I'm going to go to zero. You talk about hitting the bottom. Hit that bottom as fast as you can. Don't jack around with it. What? Go to zero, man. Stay at zero because. How you feel about that, who, kid? I don't know, Shaggy. I don't know about going to zero. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> Go to zero, man. 
Wow. Because now, now I have to operate off of other people. Mm. I have to go to other people to get help. In three hours, I had a place to live. I had um, a tab at a restaurant. <laughs> I had food, water, shelter. I was in a $60,000 RV for the next week and a half. Oh, shit. I had another guy give me a, 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 a traded, I took the old truck that I had. I had him give me a brand new truck to sell for him. I'm rolling in a brand new pair of wheels, <laughs> a fucking brand new RV. Okay, I didn't have any heat, but fuck it. I had, a, I had a bed and I had a goddamn tab at a restaurant and I'm making friends. You, you don't get that with $100. Mm. You get that when you're broke. Oh, okay. Because now all I can operate on is my, my, what is, I need people. This is the trick about money. People think, people think you need money, but that money that you got came from people. So as long as I don't, like, I would take that money right there you have in your pocket. See, when I see that money, I see real estate. I don't see money. I see, fuck it, I'm going to take that money, push into some real estate, stay broke, and go get more money from other people, and then take that money and buy real estate. And the real estate's going to pay me. I'm going to live off the real estate. So I'm an idiot for having 8,000 in my pocket. Well, no, no, you're, not, you're not an idiot. You're just not informed. Oh, thank you, Mike. Indoctrinated. He is informed. Well, he's indoctrinated. He's right, right now, he's, he's informed. Yes, yeah, he yeah. is. I was an idiot, but not no more. But, 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 but most of us think cash. <laughs> you're is. an idiot, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm fucking with yeah. you. <laughs> but most of us have been told mm. the wrong things, you know? Mm. And that's why we operate with, that's why most people in this country are broke. But that I think that's why you hear information is power. Like we, yeah. a lot of people, just like Mike said, we're just ignorant. Yeah. We want to get the liquid, and then we buy, buy, buy. But we don't think about the future. Like think momentarily. Is it is is there a color thing or a cultural thing when it comes to investing? Like you know, because I don't believe so. I just think it takes an art to handle money. There's so many people who whatever our ideology about whatever race they make a lot of money. That's not true. All of the guys from 100 years ago that, um, that didn't know, like Ziegfeld and all the fuck, they didn't know about taking care of money, Vanderbilt and those guys, they were living large until 1913 and they, they had taxes and they wiped out a lot of billionaires. The robber barons got wiped out. Mm. Only probably four families succeeded and continued to make money for the rest of the generation. But normally they were wiped out. Yeah, because those guys prey on one another too. Yeah, oh, you absolutely. Know, that's the other oh, thing. hell no. Oh, yeah, dude. When he gets to the top of the food chain, they go eat each other. Oh, yeah, dude. That, that, like, we're all sitting at a poker table, right? Like, let's say there's five, each other. <laughs> five big rich guys sitting at a poker table. They could all be friends, but they, they all have one goal. Carnegie didn't like Rockefeller. That's right. Oh, wow. They want he, each other's money. No, he, he made his, he, he caused um, Carnegie's mentor to commit suicide. Oh, I didn't know that. Tom Glass, I believe his name was. But like you're right, they feed on each other. Dude, like like BlackRock, you know the, the the Blackstone that was founded by Schwartzman brought a guy named Larry Fink into the game that founded BlackRock. So Larry Fink should be in, you know, like this is an eleven trillion dollar company, trillion, not billion, trillion. They spill billions. Okay, they waste them. So Larry Fink comes into the game under Schwartzman and says, hey, I want to start this other company. I want you to invest in it. And, and Schwartzman says, no, Schwartzman's company is worth a trillion dollars. The new guy coming in, being mentied, ends up building another company called BlackRock that's worth 11 times the money. I think what's going on right now with the Fed and the interest rates and all that, they're trying to put pressure on Blackstone. Like BlackRock's trying to consume Blackstone. Oh, shit. They, they put pressure on one another. And in and, and, and all But it's great because it's competition. It's tremendous competition. Competition. Yeah, competition like, makes you a better better um, businessman, better fighter. It's just competition. Even if you lead, even if you lose, you become experienced from that loss. Just don't give up. Keep fighting. That's pretty much what happens. How do you do that though? How do you do that when what? not not quit? Because um, in all actuality, you have to want to be up more than anybody in the world wants you to be down. It's yeah, competition. Yeah. yeah. Competing with yourself. This is what it's about. That's what we all do. We can't compete with other people. We can only compete with ourselves because we're the zenith of ourselves. That's just what it is. Yeah, That's I what mean, we I know. Do. I, like, I can't compete with these people. These people have. Uh, I'm a blueberry. 
you know, I'm like, but, but, but I am, I am trying to figure out how do I become that, you know, how do I become those people? If you want to become though, you know, to have more in your life, take care of your family. And so anyway, the, the hundred dollar thing back to the hundred dollar thing was, I just learned that having money is not really money is not very useful in, in your pockets. Well, you know, I like money. I like to have cash because I like to give homeless people. Mm. I like to give money out to people. So I like to have cash. I like to, I don't care if I have 20000 Most I get most of that out yeah. to people. Yeah, I love doing that, you know. But just having it in my pockets, I'm going to end up wasting it on yeah, stuff yeah. that. I mean, I go to the Amateur Mall and I see people walking in there buying. We were talking about shoes earlier, you know. They're forgiven. $1,000, $1,200. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He's complaining. Again. Worst thing, <laughs> credit cards. They're banging credit cards. I mean, we have more credit card debt in this country today than we've ever had. Mm. More student debt, $2 trillion worth of student debt uh, that people can't pay back. Mm -mm. It's insane, man. It's insane people go spend four and five years in college. This is an indoctrination in this country. We're indoctrinated. We are not. To beat the system. We're not illiterate. We're not financially illiterate. That is not true. This is a fucking label put on people to make people feel stupid. They're not stupid. They're indoctrinated. Save your money, buy a house, get a good job, go to college, get a higher education. None of this is true, by the way. Higher education does not. Those, are, those are investment myths. <laughs> those, are, those are investment myths. Like going to school. Save like your that. money is a, is, is a complete that only benefits the banks. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You said you stated that uh, going to school is an investment. Going right? to college is. I went. I spent five years in college. Completely. And my son's. I think it was like sixty thousand for a semester. Yes, yeah, complete, complete ridiculous. Boston College. Like if you look at huh? statistics today, today the forty-year-old male or female today uh, has less savings than twenty years ago with somebody that didn't go to college. So. It's not true. It's not. Now, they're going to keep selling that, is, that people need higher education. They're going to tell you, oh, man, uh, you know, communities that are disenfranchised need an education, and we need to give them the money to go to education. It's not true. It's five years that are wasted. Lawyers in the future will not, you won't need a lawyer anymore. You're, you're, you're going to need, you're going to go to chat GPT or some AI, what? and they're going to write your fucking <laughs> contract. I, I, I always thought school was something you fall back on when you fail in it. Plan B, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, all, that's how I looked at school. I never went anywhere because I knew I was going to succeed. You got to learn skills. You got to get great at something, but learning, learning a bunch of stuff, most of which will be outdated by the time your kid's out of school. Mm. <laughs> that's the you truth, know? though. So my kids want to know whether they should go to college or not. I'm like, I ain't paying for it. <laughs> you want to go, you pay for it. You, do, you, you pay for it, you figure it out. And if you go, you should go to Harvard, Yale. Mm. Go to one of these schools where you get to meet the Obamas or the Bushes. Because the only thing valuable at school today is who you meet, who you network with. Uh, like political connections? Yeah, like, make the connections. Mm. If you want to be president of the United States, go to college. Otherwise, you want to be a doctor, operate on Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and I, hey, listen, and I believe a colonic. But no way. You don't I, need a. You don't need a college I believe. Degree. I believe in none of that shit. I believe in <laughs> medicine and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need nothing in life. You don't want to go to the hospital, do you? I haven't been there in a long time. <laughs> it's funny though because all the millionaires I know or anybody who's successful, there's really no real school backgrounds. Like, in, like I mean, all the millionaires school held them. School held them back. Yeah, yeah the guys you were talking about. Eighth grade, eighth grade dropouts. Every one of them. Not one of them even finished high school. Mm -hmm. These guys were gangsters. Now, the mean. Ones, they were mean, though. Yeah, totally. They were mean. Ruthless. And then later, they become reputational. Yeah. You know, later, yeah. they're banks. But exactly. in the beginning, they were sales guys, Killer promoters. Love. What about um, Carnegie and those guys? That's where people... Gangsters. Who, Rockefeller was gangster. What do millionaires and billionaires talk about when you're a link? Like, cause Money. If, if, you, if you understand that education or other avenues yeah. is a myth, what are y'all talking about? Like, do y'all laugh at how people are? Like, why they're not, like, I mean, doing well, what Well, what they doing? talk about in public and then what they talk about privately are completely different, so... No. <laughs> So, so I get a lot of shit because I show off the life, right? Because, oh, okay. Because, uh, like, I was with a guy. He's worth about $8 billion. He's like, him and his wife were like, why do you and your wife show your plane off? And I'm like, why do you not show your plane off? By the way, you're showing your shit off to me right now. You show it off to me, but you don't show it off to the world. 
So once I get in your little fucking club, your little circle, you tell me how you did it. Why don't you tell the rest of the world, Dick, how you did it? That's crazy. Why are you so selfish with the information? And he said to me, he's like, if I share it, I'm going to get hated. I said, that's what you're doing to me right now. Oh, wow. You're telling me I'm a show off. And I'm telling you, you're selfish. Dude, you hacked the system. You figured it out. You're not telling people. I told myself when I was 16 years old, if I made it, and I didn't think I would, but if I ever made it, I was going to share it with people. And I wasn't going to close it up. The failures, the successes. Knowledge don't mean shit if it's not shared. How many fights did you win? 50? Yeah. You lost six? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Everybody knows that, man. Okay, I've won 37 real estate deals that are fucking massive, like Hundreds of millions of dollars. And you can't talk about it. I should have rings. <laughs> I should have fucking belts. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Ring, I'm gonna get belts with my properties on. Like if I was in the NFL, the NBA, I'd be a. I'd be like undefeated, undefeated champion. And I did it my way. I didn't do it. I didn't have. I didn't join anybody's club to do it. I did it without J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch, Fidelity. I didn't use any of these Blackstones, Black Rocks. Everybody that's in real estate that does what I do, they go to the bank. They go to the big, basically the pimp. Wow. And they're like, put, okay. me, in, put me in the game. They have what? no money in the game. I didn't use any of these people. I'm like, I'm doing this shit my way. I'm going to use it my audience. I'm going to build an audience of people. I'm never going to... I'm never going to... Um, disappoint my audience. I'm going to take care of them. I'm not going to fuck them over. I'm basically making the people around me the bank mm. and not using the bank. <clears throat> like Wells Fargo, where do you keep your money? What uh, bank? Citibank. Citibank, okay. You drop your money off there. They call me up. <laughs> oh, shit, really? They say, hey, man, he dropped, he dropped some more off. You want to use it? <laughs> <laughs> Every person that saves money this is what people don't understand when they're saving money. And this is what our parents taught us. Save your money, save your money, save your money. When you save the money at Wells, Bank of America, Citibank, they're calling people like me saying, they dropped it off. Do you want to use it? Wow. You're investing in my shit right now, and you don't even get paid. You even know it. I ain't getting money or nothing. You don't get nothing. The appreciation, that tax write-offs, is you don't it, get any is, is it dumb for me to, like, save up to 250 and then have four different accounts in four different banks? So Fucking I don't get completely like, ridiculous. Wow, Okay. I heard, you think, I heard, what, I heard what do you think? Blair. What do you think you? Hey, who kid? You think you're hiding money? No, it's not no, that you're no, hiding. He, he's but he's worried about his insurance. He's yeah. It's, it's called FDIC insurance, right? It's completely bullshit. Thank you for telling. Okay. I'm an idiot. All the, right. The there's 22 Fuck. trillion dollars. 22 trillion dollars <laughs> in America in checking accounts. Okay. Only one percent of it is insured. What? So your fucking money. It's his fucking money. Well, they, they. <laughs> He's using your money to get his shit free. I am. I am because you leave it at the bank, okay? So, well, you drop your money off at City. Let's say you dropped off 250000 mm. They take the two fifty and they lend that out 10 times. They count the, 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 your two fifty that you dropped off, check this out, is a liability to the bank. On their books, it's a liability. They lend out $250 million. They count that as an asset. A bank is the most dangerous. A bank is the most dangerous business in the world. It's always had. No it's always has been known for that. That's why Jesse James used to rob them. Yeah. Mm. The banks always been known to take your property, and they would kick your ass physically and take your property. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, really, grab. So, yeah, they yeah, grab your yeah. son, put a gun in your son, and <laughs> sign it over. Yeah, yeah. That's why Jesse James was going all hard. These guys were going. They, I mean. The people in New York and all those East Coast people, they were going all, all out. Mm. They were going, the banks were going all so out, killing everything. So robbing a bank was the norm back in the days, huh? Well, yeah, no, only certain, it, people are afraid to do it. They're afraid mm. to do it. They're afraid of those, I forgot the, that law, Pinkleton. They're afraid mm. of the Pinkleton. But Jesse James and his crew, the Butch Cass, they don't give a fuck. Damn, man, I'm over here trying to protect my shit. <laughs> I'm like an idiot. Well, that, 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 no, because that, this is what, what you were told, told dude. This he, is what you were told. We've been indoctrinated, man. This yeah. is how these. This is how the system works. They tell us what to do, and we do it. Okay, you go do what they tell you to do. They tell you to take the vaccine. People line up and take the fucking vaccine. Too. Speaking of uh, speaking of the system, uh, you you stated that um, you know poor. Politicians go in Congress and come out rich. That that annoys. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> yeah. Remember, Bona Bona was a, um, the speaker of the house, and he went to the cannabis business. Yeah. 
What? He gave that up into the cannabis business. Bummer. Is that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Most people don't remember him. Yeah. But it, look at Pelosi. She's she's made she makes she's never made more than one hundred seventy nine thousand dollars in a year, ever. In the books, in, in Congress. As a senator. Oh, okay. What is she? House of Representatives. What does she make behind closed doors? What kind of deals she's does she worth make? One hundred and twenty million dollars what she's worth Holy an eighth shit. of a, tr a billion dollars and she's never made more than one hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars in a year if you do the math on that most people just don't do the math she would have had to be in senate she would have had to have been in the senate three thousand three hundred and sixty seven years yeah but i make that much money yeah, i'm just saying when you make when you have money okay. like that and you're a politician you're bored mm. she pays for nothing Okay, she pays for nothing. She's allowed to do insider trading, which should be completely illegal. And, um, y you know, like, how, how, it's impossible. How, if you made $179,000 a year, do you will never be a millionaire, mm. much less worth $120 million. I mean, being in the government, isn't it like a cheat code? Like, you know, all the it, rules, it, it all is. The, what's coming soon. It like, is. no, it's like being back in. No, imagine shit. Mike bringing Tyson 2.0 into like he knows like the rules of everything. Hell, well, yeah, it probably when, is like yeah. that now, you know. But once you go public, you're wide open. Mm. The you, go, you going public? I heard, I heard, maybe, that. maybe, maybe, maybe. Price is right. <laughs> the price got to be right. Sounds like a good game show. Yeah, the price has to be right. So. Well, you deserve a, you deserve a big price, dude. You deserve a big. Heavy, I mean, is, heavy is, is the weed business and real estate kind of like similar? In well, no, 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 it's not. But the tobacco business kicks this real estate business in the ass. Okay. What? All those businesses kick yeah. real estate. Our business. tobacco, our vape some. We can't even. I don't even want to talk about somebody might rob me. Or something. <laughs> God damn. The real estate business is not, it's, it's a very stable, boring. The legal it's drug a coward, business. It's a coward. The stuff. addiction business. That's a big business. The yeah. addiction yeah. business. Yeah. Tobacco, wine, all that. That's a big business. Real estate is a place where you put money and you just wait. I'm just waiting you, you, for the rents to go up. You yeah. shouted out the worst markets. What, what was it again? It was was it Austin right, right now? Right, right there, now. down, baby. Huh? The way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Take notes. I'm, I'm asking Take my notes. wife to write it down. Go ahead, tell us. Austin, you said. Oh, well, right now, right Austin. now, man, Austin's a terrible market. Really? Yeah, it's too too <laughs> oh, much shit. too much product, man. Too much product. Not enough buyer, Not enough renters. So, mm. Austin, right now, Austin, I would avoid right now. It's not that I would avoid them. I, you just need to wait for the the pain. There's got to be enough pain to go name, in. Name more. Uh, Austin, Nashville. Um, what's overbuilt right now? Probably, probably Phoenix. Uh, really? Colorado. Anything? Washington oh. D.C. I'd stay away from Washington D.C. Just got Damn. too many, too many problems. I wouldn't buy anything in New York, New Jersey, Illinois. Uh, maybe Chicago. I might do Chicago in the in in, in uh in right there in Midtown. Um, but look, all these rules, none of it matters if you can steal it. Like, I, you know, I want to steal real estate. So buying... Uh, I'm buy but what I'm buying is property. I'm not buying houses. Okay. This isn't houses. This is not office. This is places where people rent. They live. We're going to become a renter nation. America will become a renter nation. We will become more like Europe than we are like America. No one will own a home here. So all that buying... Uh, buying well, a house is a shit investment. What? Back to this thing. I said, earlier, it's the worst investment you can possibly make. What? But you see, we're taught to do that. Why? Because the banks fucking make money, dude. The banks make the education system in this country. You'll own nothing. You'll rent everything. Okay? By, by the way, your, your kids, that's all our kids want to do anyway. Our kids don't care if they own shit. They just want to use stuff. They don't care if they own the car. They don't care if they, they own the home. They just want to use stuff, move on next. They want to be mobile. They want to travel. They want to have adventures. But we were growing up, when we were growing up, it was like, buy a house, save your money, retirement. What, who does that benefit? Those three things right there. Buy a house, benefits Wells Fargo. Oh, shit. They make 6 and 7% every year on that house. So in 10 years, you have to make 70% just to pay the bank back. That's who the real winner is. It's not the homeowner. Okay? Uh, save your money at the bank. Save your money at the bank. Who wins? The bank. Uh, invest in an IRA or 401k. Who, who wins? The banks. Fucking Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. These are trillion-dollar companies because of retirement. So you got a retirement account? 
I mean, yeah, but yeah, of course you do, because you were told to get it. Well, my ex-wife wants me uh, out of here, but you know, but yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but the thing that's crazy, like five hundred G's from where she lived in New Jersey, then it, it, it went down fifty thousand. I'm like, the house did. So it's like it depends on who moves in, who does. I mean, what the hell, man? It's so many like yeah, because a house a house is only as valuable uh, as as the next guy that wants to move into the house. The kind of stuff I buy, it's not. Its value is based on its rent. So we're buying these complexes that are 300 units, and they're full. When we buy them, they're 295 units that are rented. They already have income coming in. Was that the worst thing you purchased in Connecticut, that mansion, out of all your properties? It was, but someone bought it for me. But even though he bought it for me, um, the accumulation of the bills taking care of it yeah. was equivalent to it and surpassed it. Exactly. What? Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, totally, dude. The maintenance, the maintenance on these houses. It's crazy. You know, you get these forty-five thousand dollars square feet, you got twenty acres, and you know, you know how hard it is to um Take care of it. Take care of 20 acres. <laughs> you got to ride the track, but you can't do this. You got to be in a car. Back up. No, you can't do that. I'm talking about flat land, no trees and shit flat. You <laughs> sticks on you. Oh, shit. Yeah, so many pools over there, too. Huh? The pool maintenance was crazy. <laughs> That's amazing, man. It's a, uh, you know, and it, you you brought in like the pol the politics of like uh, you said either Democratic or Republican. Like, what are, what are those kind of like views on purchasing real estate? Like, well, they all want you to purchase real mm. estate, right? Because they want you anchored down. They, I, don't, I don't think either party. I mean, they're both the same parties. Like, really, they're they're really both the same, regardless how you uh, look yeah, at I it. I mean, except for what Trump's doing, the, 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 those guys are all the same. <laughs> oh they're, shit, that's crazy. Yeah, the, 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 Trump is a disruptor of the whole thing. Like, this whole thing is a scam. You know, wow. The, we, America's built on a, like, you, you, could, have, you could have a dictator. If, 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 if an alien saw America and said, hey, is this run by a dictator or is this run by a, a changing office? They'd be like, that has to be a dictator. Nothing gets better in that country. It's getting worse. Mm. Black and brown communities keep suffering. Women can't get ahead. The average American doesn't have any money. 60% are living paycheck to paycheck. Fucking thing's on lockdown, dude. Like, very few people squeak through the system and get anything. And the ones that do had to break the rules. Wow. They had to somehow get outside the system, you know? You had to Bezos it and become an Amazon or be an Elon. But I'm not, a, I'm not those. I, I don't have that kind of intelligence, right, to write what, code. Or, what would happen to this country if we had, like, a bank virus, like, you go to your account and everybody's zero. <laughs> well, yeah, if you, well, if you had an internet outage, just an internet outage would be enough. Being chaos, be killing each other, <laughs> stealing from like, each like, other. Be Being chaos, you know how easy it is, especially for um, the camera, easy it is to turn us against one another. Right now, today, you know how easy it is? It's turn us against one another. It's when we're killing each other. So easy, so easy. Man, explain the 10X rule, man. 10X is, uh, I wrote a book uh, in, I think it was eight, nine or 10, something like that, Johnny. Um, and I was, it was right after 2008, the economy had collapsed. Mm. So I had 25 years of working and putting money together and businesses and the economy collapsed and it took every, like almost went bankrupt. I sat down, tried to figure out what I did wrong. And what I did wrong was I simply didn't go big enough. Didn't have a big enough audience, didn't have enough businesses, didn't have enough verticals, didn't have enough income from different places. Um, so the 10X rule was basically, look, you need to do 10 times more than you think you need to do to even get ahead. Like everybody's underestimating how much. So 5,000, I could turn 5,000 to a million right now. I got like 7,000 on me. Yeah, you do really? <laughs> huh? The 10X we, rule. We ought to just get it. Mom. Huh? Mom, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, dude, your goal should be to turn that money into 10 times what it is. Mm. All money should be converted 10 times, at least. And then 10 times again, or an audience, or products. If you have one product, you don't need one product. You need 10 products. You got one skill, you need 10 skills. When I was young, I didn't want to put my money in a fucking bank. I wanted to 
Just have it in my bag, in my Get room. Get it going. Just, yeah, come on, let's <laughs> what go. What you do with it, though? Huh? What, what happened to that money? Oh, it, it's not going to no fucking bank. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, it went, it, it went, it went. Everywhere else? Everywhere else. Well, yeah, it went to my friends, went to some houses, yeah. went to my dick. It was just, <laughs> every, oh, it was all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I don't trust myself with money. So I just get the money, I take it, I bury it in something where I trust it. Mm. I trust the real estate. All right. So listen, Grant, there's hundreds, like millions of people, millions of people watching that, right? I know you're accustomed yes, to that. Yeah, yeah. Tell them about, tell them how they can get in contact with you. Cause I'm, just find, I, yeah, I'm, I'm easy to find, man. You, you just, you Google Grant Cardone one time, you will not have to do anything else. Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, Grant Cardone Real Estate, Grant Cardone 10X, Grant Cardone Net Worth, Grant Cardone whatever. You put my name in and anything, Grant Cardone and Mike Tyson. Grant right? Cardone and telephones. Yeah, Grant Cardone's Don't Go Alone. <laughs> Never. <laughs> no free, you're put, put, in, again. put in why Grant Cardone, Grant Cardone and Cardone University. If you guys want to get Cardone University, it's completely free. And education, baby. And education. I'm not putting monies in banks. Grant Cardone and Joan Rivers. Yes. <laughs> That's right. I did Joan Rivers. So. You did Joan Rivers before? Yeah, yeah, oh, she's yeah. fantastic. I love Joan. Yeah. That's the homie. She was amazing, man. Mm. She's from Brooklyn, too, so I really yeah, wish I loved her. I don't know what happened to her. Um, She was sad. You know what happened? Um, She's deep. I'm, she's deep. Yeah, yeah. Brooklyn girl is yeah. deep. Well, let me just say, man, I really appreciate you having me here. I appreciate yeah. having you, too. You're, you're an amazing human being. I've been called worse. Thank you. You're, yeah, I wouldn't know anything worse about you except that you're amazing. A fucking great example for Thank you. People. Thank you very much. And, uh, and you've inspired me in many, many ways. You have no idea how many ways you've inspired me. Well, I'm glad to be able to do it if it's positive. Yes.